Well, good evening, everyone. I hope you're doing well. And this is your Royal Daily News for July 22nd, 2022. In Glostein, Her Majesty Queen Margrethe II of Denmark, along with her two sisters, Her Royal Highness Princess Benedicte of Denmark, Princess of St. Wittgenstein Berlberg, and Her Majesty Queen Anne Marie of Greece, watched the traditional changing of the guards in the courtyard of Glostein Slot. Every day at 11.45 a.m., the Royal Lifeguards, accompanied by two tambourines from the Tambor Corps, begin their march in the Glostein Town Square until they reach the gates of Glostein Slot. Every Friday at noon, the changing of the guard takes place with the participation of the Lifeguards Music Corps and the Royal Lifeguard Tambor Group. Built in the 16th century, Glostein Slot was once owned by the Grand Chancellor Frederick Eilfeldt, then the Dukes of Augustenborg, then King Frederick VII, then returned to the Dukes of Augustenborg. After the reunification of southern Jutland with Denmark in 1920, the state bought Grostein Slot, where it was used, amongst other things, as a courtroom, residence for the judge, and chief of police, as well as a library. After extensive renovation in 1935, Glostein Slot was handed over to a then the Royal Highnesses Crown Prince Frederick and Crown Princess Ingrid of Denmark, later known as Their Majesties King Frederick IX and Queen Ingrid of Denmark. Since then, members of the Danish royal family have used Glostein Slot as their annual summer residence. In Caen, France, their Royal Highnesses Prince Joachim and Princess Marie of Denmark, accompanied by His Highness Prince Felix of Denmark, His Highness Prince Heinrich of Denmark, and Her Highness Princess Athena of Denmark, attended the 19th stage of the Tour de France. After the finish of the 19th stage, Prince Joachim presented the yellow leader's jersey to Mr. Jonas Vinigal of Denmark in front of hundreds of cheering fans. In the press tent, Prince Joachim and Princess Marie had a chance to meet with Mr. Vinigal and to congratulate him as well as to take some photos. Later in the afternoon at Chateau de Cakes, His Highness Prince Felix of Denmark celebrated his 20th birthday. Prince Felix is a second son of His Royal Highness Prince Joachim of Denmark and his first wife, Alexandra, Countess of Fredericksburg, formerly Princess Alexandra of Denmark. Last evening in Tisvilde, His Royal Highness Crown Prince Frederick of Denmark and his son, His Royal Highness Prince Christian of Denmark, attended the opening of Music in Lyle. Music in Lyle is a famous three-day music, food, and arts festival where the forests meet the beach in Tisvilde. During last evening's concert, Crown Prince Frederick and Prince Christian enjoyed various music performances by Lord Siva and Hans Philip, to name a few. The royal duo also took several photos with Danish actor Mr. Ali Savandi. In Castelnau, Manuac, France, His Serene Highness Prince Albert II of Monaco attended the starting point for the 19th stage of the Tour de France. In Madrid, Her Majesty Queen Letizia of Spain held an audience with 16 representatives of the state platform for people with intellectual or developmental disabilities at Palacio de la Zazuela. In the afternoon, Her Majesty held an audience with representatives from the Spanish newspaper La Raison on the occasion of its supplement A Tu Salud to Your Health. The supplement has become a benchmark for health, nutrition, and wellness information in Spain. It appears every Sunday along with the newspaper edition and there's also an online version. Meanwhile, Her Royal Highness the Princess Royal visited Lundy South Lighthouse on Lundy Island. During her visit, the princess was given a tour of the lighthouse and met with the station team. In Surrey, Her Royal Highness the Duchess of Gloucester, as patron, visited the Merrillwood Care Home to celebrate its 125th anniversary. During today's celebrations, the Duchess met with staff and residents, as well as to see how the charity continues to provide support for those who need it most. In London, Clarence House announced that their Royal Highnesses, the Prince of Wales and the Duchess of Cornwall, will attend the opening ceremony of the 22nd Commonwealth Games in Birmingham. According to a press release from Buckingham Palace, their Royal Highnesses, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, their Royal Highnesses, the Earl and Countess of Wessex, Her Royal Highness, the Princess Royal, and their Royal Highnesses, the Duke and Duchess of Gloucester, will, quote, 
attend events and engagements in celebration of the games, as well as visiting the sporting venues, attending a range of fixtures and meeting athletes, volunteers, and support staff helping to deliver the Commonwealth Games." End quote. The 22nd Commonwealth Games in Birmingham will begin on Thursday, July 28th through August 8th, 2022. Yesterday morning in Shibuya, Tokyo, their Imperial Majesties Emperor Norohito and Empress Masako of Japan, along with their Imperial Highnesses Crown Prince Akishino and Crown Princess Kiko, visited the Meiji Jingu Shrine. The purpose of the visit was to offer prayers and worship ahead of the 110th anniversary of Emperor Meiji's death. This morning, Her Imperial Highness Princess Kako of Akishino arrived at the Meiji Jingu Shrine to offer her prayers and worship to the late emperor. In Uland, their Royal Highnesses Crown Princess Victoria and Prince Daniel of Sweden attended the 2022 Soloden Sessions Summer Concert Series held at Borgholm Slot. This evening, the Crown Princely couple, along with their daughter, Her Royal Highness Princess Estelle of Sweden, and their longtime friends, Patrick and Camilla Verbank, and their children, attended the HLV-1 concert. Last evening, the Crown Princess couple enjoyed a sunset performance by the Swedish band, the Bo Casper Orchestra. Last evening, in Regensburg, Germany, Princess Gloria von Thun und Taxis attended the David Garrett concert held in the courtyard at Schloss Emmeron. The concert was held in part of the famous Tuan und Taxis summer concert series held at, well, I just said it, Schloss Amaron. <laughs> Meanwhile, Her Highness Hereditary Princess Clea of Otigen Spielberg graces the August 2022 cover of Ola Fashion. Speaking of magazine covers, Miss Victoria Federica de Maricellar e Bourbon graces the July 2022 cover of Ola Magazine. Miss Maricellar y Bourbon is the only daughter of Infanta Elena, Duchess of Lugo, the eldest daughter of their majesties, Emeritus King Juan Carlos I and Emeritus Queen Sofia of Spain. And finally, on this day in royal history, in 1896, Her Royal Highness Princess Maud of Wales married His Royal Highness Prince Carl of Denmark in the private chapel at Buckingham Palace. Princess Maud was the youngest daughter of the Prince of Wales, the future King Edward VII, and Princess Alexandra of Wales, the future Queen Alexandra. The couple would later become their majesties, King Håkon VII and Queen Maud of Norway. And there you have it. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I will be back tomorrow on Saturday, July 23rd, with all the latest royal news. Until then, you can visit me at my website, royalcorrespondent.com, or on Twitter. With that being said, Happy Friday, everyone. <laughs> I wish you all a wonderful evening and a fantastic as well as relaxing weekend. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Okay, take care, everyone. Bye-bye.